Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you, and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Please pay attention and hold the person who will run now. The power of God is coming on one person who will start to run so that you can just hold the person down. This is what I just saw in my vision. Um, supernatural things happen because God is at work and everywhere the Spirit of the Lord is. The Bible says there is liberty. And so God knows how he visits his people. Our assignment is to open up the bowels of faith to allow the spirit of god flow as he pleases revelation chapter 22 and for that person is is a mighty already is liberty for that person <laughs> verse 2 in the midst of the street of it please let me have your attention and on either side of the river was there the tree of life which bear 12 manner of fruits and yielded her fruit how long every month from that tree every month there was a supernatural allocation that means what god did last month is not what he's doing today the bible says they bear 12 kinds and if he said it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness that means no matter what you have received you have not seen it in this manner and you have not seen it in this fashion 12 manner of fruits and yielded her fruits every month and the bible says the leaves of that tree were for the healing of the nation i just want to admonish us for a few minutes and then we'll pray my heart is really heavy and I really, really believe that God wants to truly end certain things in people's lives and destinies once and for all. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible lets us know that in Christ, please look up, we have been called to a life of victory. Please say victory. Scattered through scripture are the possibilities of the kingdom that makes for the victory of the saints we are not only called to love god we are not only called to serve god we are not only called to be used by god we are also called to be partakers of the victory that comes with this life it is important for you to understand that the dimension of our work with god that makes for victory is a possibility we must continually contend for until it is fully captured in our lives now thanks be to god the bible says that causes us always to triumph hallelujah the bible wants us to produce results in our lives john 15 verse 8 jesus is speaking herein is our father glorified when ye bear much fruit he says by so doing you will prove that you are my disciples when he saw the tree that had leaves but no fig the bible said in that scripture that the figs grow together with the leaves but this time around it had leaves and no figs and it cost it he said that no man will eat from you thereof hallelujah so god desires and, and it's important please listen very carefully we must never allow ourselves to be so used to suffering to be so used to pain now whether we suffer or not it should never interrupt our commitment and our love for god however god's design is not to serve him in suffering god's design is not to serve him in failure and defeat that is why when we serve him under that condition it means a lot because we were not designed that way are we together so we must continually contend to see the reality of the victory that is in Christ fully manifest in our lives. Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit put something in my heart to just share with us. And I want us to please pay attention. I have found out 
that I wrote something down here that I want to just quote and then I'll just discuss a few minutes and then we'll pray. Living in victory requires thinking victorious thoughts. Please understand this, that there is a relationship between the victory that happens in a man's life and the quality of your thoughts and your understanding. Thinking like Christ, we call it. It is not enough to believe God for miracles. It is not enough to believe God for signs, for wonders. It is not enough to believe God to lift people out of burdens and yokes. Many believers do not pay attention to the quality of their thoughts, their understanding, and how it partners with darkness or partners with the Holy Spirit in establishing their victory. I wrote this down and I want you to listen very carefully. Every challenge in this life has a mindset support system. Every challenge in this life has a mindset support system. That means it has a thinking system that supports the arrival or the continuity of that challenge. Every challenge at all you will ever face in life has a mindset support system. That means it cannot continue until there is a thinking that supports the activity of that spirit. Every challenge in life has a mindset support system. That a thinking system that is, that supports the arrival of that problem and the continuity of that problem every victory in christ also in this kingdom has a mindset support system please understand this that both the tragedies that we experience in our lives and the victory that we receive as wrought by christ require a mindset support system the theology of victory is that all victorious living starts from the realm of the spirit routed in christ but then it will pass through the gateway of our thinking to find expression in the physical world this is very important nothing remains in a believer's life indefinitely until there is a mindset support system that allows it please listen to what i tell you whether it is poverty whether it is failure now it may not be caused by a mindset it may be an attack but the attack is at the mercy of the mindset support system a thinking system that will partner with darkness to keep that person indefinitely in that situation that means total victory is not just in praying for the sick it's not just in giving money listen it's not just in even getting people saved or born again total victory is when you allow the entire tripartite dimensions of a man to experience this victory number one that man must be in contact with the christ he's the basis of all victory are we together now number two the superior information that is based on scripture must be allowed to permeate that person's thinking let me show you a scripture that will bless you philippians chapter 4 and verse 8 paul is teaching the church in philippi and here's what he has to say finally brethren so he's talking to brethren those who are of the fold he says whatsoever things are true everybody say truth whatsoever things are honest say honesty whatsoever things are just say justice whatsoever things are pure say purity whatsoever things are lovely say love whatsoever things are of good report it says if there be any virtue and if there be any praise think on these things you are given the boundary as a believer to guard your mind that means that you have a responsibility to protect your mind to not vacillate indefinitely it is your responsibility now watch this satan is master of the flesh realm look up please the realm of the senses and the realm of the flesh is the domain of satan the flesh is generally defined number one as a nature and then number two a way of thinking that is alienated from the life and the character of the christ so when the bible talks of the flesh number one it means the nature of the fallen man but number two it means a system of thinking a theology of understanding that is not consistent with the character of the christ 
and the bible says to guard our minds very diligently please listen to me you will strangle any problem to death when it does not find a mind support system any challenge whatsoever is already on its way to expiry when your mind does not support its continuity whether it is poverty whether it is an attack whether it is a cause whatsoever it is so satan maintains continuity of darkness by number one allowing the spirit influences to manipulate the sense realm the things you see the things you hear are we together all of these sense realms they begin to create aberrated views they may be real from the third dimensional realm but the bible says while we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen you can look at the things that are unseen why because the things that are seen are temporal the word temporal means subject to change there are conditions that can allow that thing change there is no end to the trouble that will come to a believer's life who does not construct his thoughts and his understanding to reflect christ any problem listen let me tell you this now please don't feel insulted we have medical people here and i learned that the way what we call hiv are we together the virus the deadly virus i and i was told one time by a doctor he was telling me how it works he told me hiv itself is not a sickness are we together hiv is a state is a medical condition a biological condition that is aimed at weakening are we together now the strength the support system so it kills the support system of the body down not just the white blood cells it it shuts down everything that has the fortitude of creating strength and defense in the body so that any sickness even if it's malaria can kill you this is how a mindset is a mindset works like hiv a mindset is a universal invitation for any trouble to be to part that means it is a ready participant any tragedy you are welcome the thing that i feared most have come upon me job said please listen so satan uses fear number one satan uses the negative testimonies of others who are like you you are in a situation with another person and he says you see how my life is how is your own experience and while you are standing in faith you look at him and you say we are the same we are age mates the same region and so i should not act stupid and you begin to dance to the music of the flesh the moment you allow your thinking to go outside the boundary the provisions allocated by the word of god just know that you are already in partnership it's another kind of koinonia too the moment your mind is thinking wrong you just started a service but that service now is not under the influence of the holy spirit it's a partnership with any kind of tragedy that will eventually find finally brethren in addition to all that i have told you in addition to the systems that guarantee victory in the kingdom they are all nonsense if you ignore this whatsoever things are true and now you see i've taught you this again and again we live in a society that is negative by default are we together you annoy people when you are happy you annoy people when you are joyful you sing a song of praise and everybody is frowning and say are you the only person in this world see so we are trained to be negative the moment you are negative you become sympathetic to humans apostle you are talking like this because you've not lost any loved one apostle in the last one month my life has gone haywire finance went down and everything went down the bible says rejoice in the lord always and again it is not an encouragement it's a warning it's a precaution no matter what happens guard certain things including your joy because joy is responsible for strength joy is responsible for harvest two things you need in your life when you lose harvest 
you lose strength and you lose the fortitude for harvest you are finished so we continue to embrace a negative disposition and let me tell you this every time you search for trouble and a reason to be angry in your life you will find it at whatever level even if you don't find it the devil will help you to sympathize for other people that have no business with you it is true that you can cry it is true that you can be in pain it's true that your humanity can relate to something that brings you pain but it's a choice you are going to have to choose that i guard the boundaries of my mind please never forget this teaching that's why there are people no matter what kind of deliverance happens to them the devil is more than glad to leave them because he knows he will be back shortly it's like you take a little break in transmission mass communicators when they talk they say okay we now go on a little transmission that's what deliverance is for many people because the devil knows that inevitably there is a, a belief system that has become almost an eternal support system for him are we together it is the reason why there are dimensions of deliverance that are preached not conducted to preach deliverance to the captives do something to their belief systems so i've said that every challenge in life has a mindset or requires a mindset support system a thinking system that supports both the arrival of that problem and the continuity of that problem complaining a mindset murmuring a mindset being did you know there are people for instance come my dear watch this there are people that can stand god can do 30 things wonderful things and then just one challenge a headache trouble some challenge in the job place and they will act as if god never blessed them in this life let me tell you that kind of thinking you will gain a lot of acceptance but you will suffer indefinitely the choice is yours it's amazing how sometimes we complain as though god has never shown us his faithfulness we complain as if god has never given you a dream we complain as if god has never granted you favor we never we trivialize the salvation that we have we trivialize the good friends he's given us we trivialize access to truth even though you have not received the truth you have access to it already Philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in Christ Jesus you must intentionally acknowledge every good thing apostle I have big head what about other part of your body have you celebrated God's faithfulness for it you, you see how negative we are apostle every month malaria typhoid they, we, won't, it, won't it kill me you see that's partnership and when you continue saying it you will invite a spirit that has no business coming to your domain remember the, the, i've taught you this the law of consistency the spirit will say someone is calling me and he will come and say what's going on here and your complaint continues to allow it tabernacle with you i will never say anything negative about myself let critics say it not you are we together mm. someone once told me and said apostle you love yourself i said what's the meaning of that course i love myself why will i want somebody to love what i hate are we together you hate yourself and you want someone to love you that's why all this fantasy of hanging yourself writing a letter write no letter to nobody <laughs> oh i'm tired of this life and things are you know and you just hang yourself it's a foolish way of dying it's better to serve god and be martyred or do some or serve society hang yourself and, and waste bodies are we together 
Yes. This is an admonishment. We are going to pray. This night is a very serious night. So many of us continue to partner with demons. Remember I taught you what um, Apostle Paul said. He said, the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. Are we together? And that they will give heed to seducing spirits. Not just demonic spirits, seducing spirits. And I've taught you that the character of seduction is that seduction cannot work until it finds something that you are vulnerable to. If you are not hungry, the seduction towards gluttony cannot work. If you don't like women, the seduction towards women cannot work. If you don't like power, the seduction... So, seduction studies you. It studies your goals. It studies your visions. It studies your desires. It studies your aspiration. And it builds an attack based on that information. That's how seduction works. Or, if it does not find anything, it studies what God is doing and creates a system there. When seduction knows that Isaac is coming to put Hagar close by, so that you now bring Ishmael, who will fight with Isaac and punish the nations. Seducing spirits and the doctrines of demons. Are we together? Yes. You must make up your mind that this life of refusing, this life of seeing negative things, let me tell you, this world is whatever you say it is. There are people right now, their viewpoint of the world is a place of bomb blast, Boko Haram, wickedness, selfishness, and they are right. And it will become, because whatever Adam called it, that was the name thereof. Are we together? Yes. You call yourself things God did not call. And there are people, this world, no matter how negative it is, they choose to see what God is doing. They choose to see the God that lifts. They choose to see a destiny that is bright. They choose to see a life that insists until God is glorified. It will always be unto you according to your faith. Hallelujah. Most bitterness that happens in our world are as a result of people who feel miserable about themselves and they are not satisfied being miserable alone they will continue to make sure that others join them in feeling miserable with all that is happening in the world god is still on his throne and there is joy unspeakable in heaven full of glory jesus only wept on earth he would not cry again there is no reason for him to cry again Are we together? So you must make up your mind. We are going to pray. Shortly people will be healed, be delivered. God is going to be lifting people. But let me tell you, these experiences will never last. In fact, for some it will never happen until you trust God today and say this negative, sadist, devilish, antichrist kind of partnership that I continue to provide with challenges in my life. There are people who look wrinkled. You almost think they are 50 until they tell you, I'm just 27. You say it's a lie. Are you sick? No. But I say the way the world is, who is fine? Don't talk like that. Please take seriously what I tell you. Your victory is not only tied to Christ alone. It's tied to your understanding. Your mind is very creative, but it's also obedient. In my world, I see victory. I really do. I really do. In my world, I see the life and the power of God. In my world, I see Christ glorified. In my world, I see lives being changed. In my world, I see the, the powers of darkness continually dislodged. In my life, I see longevity. Listen very carefully. In my life, I see prosperity. In my life, I see an opportunity to serve the purposes of God with my life forever. In my life, I see continuous triumph. I have taken out time by the word of God and by the spirit to make that understanding become a stronghold in my mind. Are we together? In my mind, I see power and anointing. 
someone someone once asked me and said apostle is it that god tells you he's going to move in a meeting what gives you confidence and i said god me and history <laughs> history history is the basis for mastery i don't try to have faith in god when he will move we've left that level i know i trust him it's a realm of koinonia oneness certainty certainty let me show you something Luke chapter 1 please give it to us Luke chapter 1 we'll read the first three or four verses look up please for as much as many have taken in hand to set in order the declaration of those things which are mostly secured believe are most surely believed among us verse 2 even as they delivered them unto us which from the beginning were eyewitnesses listen and ministers of the word verse 3 it seemed good having had what perfect understanding of all things from the very first to write unto thee in order most excellent theophilus what is the purpose verse 4 that thou mightest know the certainty of those things wherein thou hast been instructed they are not cunningly vice fables the goal of writing this to you is that i was an eyewitness to these things and i want to write to you so that i solidify and clean up any gray areas that might make you doubt the certainty of what you have received this is Dr. Luke writing to Theophilus and telling him what is going on. That means so that when you stand to declare a thing, you are not hoping in the secret you are right. The certainty of these things. When you say God lifts and God can change lives as a preacher, you are, you are a funny preacher if you don't believe it. How then does the power flow? Power does not just flow through your hands. It flows through your understanding. It's very important you, you know this. Are you getting what I'm saying? The certainty of those things. So you must walk on your mind. Philippians chapter 2, same Philippians. Notice that Paul, Paul seemed to drum it in this church in Philippi, this issue of mindset. Chapter 2 and verse 5, he now encourages the saints. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. He's teaching here that for you to establish victory in your life you must allow the mind to be in you there was an understanding that jesus had there was a belief system that jesus had any trouble is frustrated when your mind does not partner with it every victory that comes from christ is also frustrated when you do not have a mindset requirement poverty depends on a mindset to stay infirmity depends on a mindset to stay causes and yokes and all kinds of things depend on a mindset to stay i think it was a preacher one time i don't know where i heard this um but there was a preacher one time who um spoke about is it the 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 elephant that is used in a circus how that they would chain the elephant or something like that and then it was used to a rope being tied and it was limited and that because of the it, it was already used to it one time they even removed the rope and the elephant would not go past that because it, the rope has been tied in his mind the worst way to bind people is to bind them in their minds when i bind you in your mind i can lose your hands you are in a bigger prison are we together so you must learn to stand in faith with god and believe with him some of you may have never received properly the miracle service because you are hoping that you will come and watch others get blessed would you leave such a distance to just come and clap for others there is a level of insistence the woman with the issue of blood said if i may but touch the hem of his garment she kept rehearsing before the arrival of jesus blind Bartimaeus you said all of you have eyes i have an eye too but i can't see and if jesus is passing around let me just hear the sound of jesus and i will cry thou son of david have mercy on me there is a level of insistence that will force darkness to go are we together tonight 
so i want you to believe listen let me tell you this it is powerful when the power of god flows in and to and through a mindset that has been so constructed you will see the potentials of the life of god we have many destructive belief systems that continue to short circuit the power of god you can pray for a lady like this for instance in the name of jesus may god give you a great life partner but she already has a destructive mindset that will never even allow the life partner see her her mindset has become darkness a depraved selfish unspiritual mind full of low esteem which god's son will see that kind of that kind of um, scenario and be glad to come and marry and there are men with self-centered self-destructive attitudes so listen you have a responsibility and this is the part of the gospel that i think we must balance in church the gospel that continues to say god is exclusively responsible he is responsible for betting the victory but you are responsible for partnering for the transfer and the manifestation to happen in your life it is true and when there was no more vessel the oil stopped the vessel in this case can be your mindset the vessel in this case can be your understanding is god speaking to us tonight someone can be here and you can make up your mind and say lord from january till october i thank you but i've not seen the prophetic word you've given me i'm insisting that this night is not only my night of reception it's my night of recovery and that by next miracle service i'm only coming to testify and clap for others i i name today as the day of my salvation hallelujah yes god is able the bible says it now unto him ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 who is able to do exceeding abundantly are far above all we ask or think not ask or sing ask or think and then it says according to the power not lives in him the power allowed to walk in us the power allowed to walk in us god's power is like a dam the one allowed to walk in you is like the the opening of the tap you can open a tap so small that it brings water drop by drop you have short circuited the potential of the dam the dam is misrepresented by the allowance that the tap gives are we together so god wants to bring us to a point where he will move us into dimensions of grace dimensions of victory now thanks be to god now thanks be to god now thanks be to god what does it take for god to change a family listen let me tell you this look up don't get used to pain and don't get used to failure continue to insist until your life reflects christ this is this is where the labor of a believer is in the spirit your insistence until the things that you now see become the things you do not see insistence lord it is not your will for this family to be in poverty begging from hand to mouth anointed but begging anointed but begging anointed but begging every good thing that happens in the family you receive it with fear because you know it will not last and you are right it will not last because it was only received momentarily it was not sustained by a requisite level of mindset that will keep it whatever your mind holds is yours forever truly whatever your mind holds is yours if your mind holds trouble is truly yours if your mind holds victory it is yours are we together so you must insist this night 
there are all kinds of things god wants to do listen let me tell you this very quickly in a miracle service god does many things a miracle service is not just a healing service a miracle service is a service that allows for the power of god to birth and sustain supernatural solutions everybody say supernatural solutions solutions whose origin and operation is higher than the realm of men it truly is stupid for an individual to sit down and start asking can god change my life in one day can god change my life in two days can god turn my family before november god are we together Koinonia, a place of encounter with the Holy Spirit and transformation by the principles of God's kingdom. Praise the Lord. Let's hold our hands together. Just bless Him in the Spirit. Please hold hands together. And let us pray. Shabaruska la brahaske de balakotia. Please hold hands together and let's bless the name of the Lord, the God of heaven. Bless him in the spirit. Bless him with your understanding. Shabarusa di kapala kushia, kalabrado zadi barushia. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Just one more prayer. Visit me tonight in the name of Jesus. Please lift your voice and pray. Give me a visitation tonight that will change my life forever. Grant by your Spirit, O God that I will have a visitation tonight that transforms my life let it be evident that I encountered God I'm under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me I am under the shadow Your influence I'm under the shadow Spirit of the living God, we thank you for tonight. Bless our hearts, change our lives, heal the sick, let the oppressed be delivered. Let us experience your glory tonight in the name of Jesus. Please be seated. God bless you. Hallelujah. I welcome everyone to our miracle service for the month of October. Praise the name of the Lord. Very quickly, I'd like to let me just perform a function five ten minutes and then we'll get to the word there's a lot to do tonight 
this is your first time worshiping with us here at koinonia it also happens to be a miracle service please may i request that you rise everyone who is worshiping with us koinonia let's give them a big god bless you outside in any of the overflows the lord bless you please keep standing hallelujah amen um we love you and we truly honor you we're not just trying to be civil or just to do what is done in churches when people come we truly honor you every time we pray for your coming and now that you're here we like you to know that we truly appreciate your coming many of you have made sacrifices to have come from within and outside of this nation and we really truly appreciate you this is koinonia a meeting put together by eternity network international tonight happens to be a miracle service and um i believe that god will do you good in jesus name yeah. praise the lord now we ask you to stand for two reasons one you will receive a card almost immediately there'll be a group of people giving you a card the first half belongs to you contains information about the ministry the second half is for you to complete please do so legibly and do so as soon as possible most likely when you are seated please complete it and someone would be coming around to receive it once you are done just let them know and they would come and pick the form please complete it so that it will enable us to know you more to pray for you and um, to add you to our database praise the lord for those of you who have come with burdens i assure you that you are watching your burden look at you for the last time in the name of jesus christ there is a god in heaven and that god will surprise you tonight in jesus name saints of god let's stretch our hands to any direction where you can find someone visiting for the first time just speak words of faith where people favored by god where people anointed and i want you to really believe we're praying for you now father lift them grant them access to your light grant them access to your power for those following online from whatever nation of the world you're connecting from in the name of jesus we agree with you that the lord will do you good tonight thank you father in the name of jesus the lord bless every one of you once again and thank you for coming please sit thank you amen hallelujah hebrews chapter 12 just to admonish our hearts and we'll trust god for a very very quick walk tonight there's a lot to do hebrews chapter 12 we'll read from verse 22 paul is speaking by the spirit hebrews chapter 12 verse 22 but ye are come unto mount zion and unto the city of the living god the bible calls it the heavenly jerusalem and to an innumerable company of angels to the general assembly the church of the firstborn which are written in heaven to the god the judge of all and to the spirit of just men made perfect you are also come to jesus the mediator of the new covenant and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of abel now every time we come it looks to us like we're just coming to honor a program but the bible says where we are is called mount zion and that there are several supernatural activities that happen there and it's important for us to believe these things the second scripture that i want us to look at very quickly is revelations chapter 22 and verse 2 please give it to us very quickly revelations chapter 22 and verse 2 please pay attention and hold the person who will run now the power of god is coming on one person who will start to run so that you can just hold the person down this is what i just saw in my vision um, supernatural things happen because God is at work and everywhere the Spirit of the Lord is the Bible says there is liberty and so God knows how he visits his people 
our assignment is to open up the bowels of faith to allow the spirit of god flow as he pleases revelation chapter 22 and for that person is is a mighty already is liberty for that person verse 2 in the midst of the street of it please let me have your attention and on either side of the river was there the tree of life which bear 12 manner of fruits and yielded her fruit how long every month from that tree every month there was a supernatural allocation that means what god did last month is not what he's doing today the bible says they bear 12 kinds and if he said it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness that means no matter what you have received you have not seen it in this manner and you have not seen it in this fashion 12 manner of fruits and yielded her fruits every month and the bible says the leaves of that tree were for the healing of the nation i just want to admonish us for a few minutes and then we'll pray my heart is really heavy and i really really believe that god wants to truly end certain things in people's lives and destinies once and for all hallelujah the bible lets us know that in christ please look up we have been called to a life of victory please say victory scattered through scripture are the possibilities of the kingdom that makes for the victory of the saints we are not only called to love god we are not only called to serve god we are not only called to be used by god we are also called to be partakers of the victory that comes with this life it is important for you to understand that the dimension of our work with god that makes for victory is a possibility we must continually contend for until it is fully captured in our lives now thanks be to god the bible says that causes us always to triumph hallelujah the bible wants us to produce results in our lives john 15 verse 8 jesus is speaking herein is our father glorified when ye bear much fruit he says by so doing you will prove that you are my disciples when he saw the tree that had leaves but no fig the bible said in that scripture that the figs grow together with the leaves but this time around it had leaves and no figs and it cost it he said that no man will eat from you thereof hallelujah so god desires and, and it's important please listen very carefully we must never allow ourselves to be so used to suffering to be so used to pain now whether we suffer or not it should never interrupt our commitment and our love for god however god's design is not to serve him in suffering god's design is not to serve him in failure and defeat that is why when we serve him under that condition it means a lot because we were not designed that way are we together so we must continually contend to see the reality of the victory that is in Christ fully manifest in our lives. Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit put something in my heart to just share with us and I want us to please pay attention. I have found out that I wrote something down here that I want to just quote and then I'll just discuss a few minutes and then we'll pray. Living in victory requires thinking victorious thoughts. Please understand this, that there is a relationship between the victory that happens in a man's life and the quality of your thoughts and your understanding. Thinking like Christ, we call it. It is not enough to believe God for miracles. It is not enough to believe God for signs, for wonders. It is not enough to believe God to lift people out of burdens and yokes. Many believers do not pay attention to the quality of their thoughts, their understanding, and how it partners with darkness or partners with the Holy Spirit in establishing their victory. 
I wrote this down and I want you to listen very carefully. Every challenge in this life has a mindset support system. Every challenge in this life has a mindset support system. That means it has a thinking system that supports the arrival or the continuity of that challenge every challenge at all you will ever face in life has a mindset support system that means it cannot continue until there is a thinking that supports the activity of that spirit every challenge in life has a mindset support system that's a thinking system that is that supports the arrival of that problem and the continuity of that problem every victory in christ also in this kingdom has a mindset support system please understand this that both the tragedies that we experience in our lives and the victory that we receive as wrought by christ require a mindset support system the theology of victory is that all victorious living starts from the realm of the spirit routed in christ but then it will pass through the gateway of our thinking to find expression in the physical world this is very important nothing remains in a believer's life indefinitely until there is a mindset support system that allows it please listen to what i tell you whether it is poverty whether it is failure now it may not be caused by a mindset it may be an attack but the attack is at the mercy of the mindset support system a thinking system that will partner with darkness to keep that person indefinitely in that situation that means total victory is not just in praying for the sick it's not just in giving money listen it's not just in even getting people saved or born again total victory is when you allow the entire tripartite dimensions of a man to experience this victory number one that man must be in contact with the christ he's the basis of all victory are we together now number two the superior information that is based on scripture must be allowed to permeate that person's thinking let me show you a scripture that will bless you philippians chapter 4 and verse 8 paul is teaching the church in philippi and here's what he has to say finally brethren so he's talking to brethren those who are of the fold he says whatsoever things are true everybody say truth whatsoever things are honest say honesty whatsoever things are just say justice whatsoever things are pure say purity whatsoever things are lovely say love whatsoever things are of good report it says if there be any virtue and if there be any praise think on these things you are given the boundary as a believer to guard your mind that means that you have a responsibility to protect your mind to not vacillate indefinitely it is your responsibility now watch this satan is master of the flesh realm look up please the realm of the senses and the realm of the flesh is the domain of satan the flesh is generally defined number one as a nature and then number two a way of thinking that is alienated from the life and the character of the christ so when the bible talks of the flesh number one it means the nature of the fallen man but number two it means a system of thinking a theology of understanding that is not consistent with the character of the christ and the bible says to guard our minds very diligently please listen to me you will strangle any problem to death when it does not find a mind support system any challenge whatsoever is already on its way to expiry when your mind does not support its continuity whether it is poverty whether it is an attack whether it is a cause whatsoever it is so satan maintains continuity of darkness by number one allowing the spirit influences to manipulate the sense realm the things you see the things you hear are we together all of these sense realms they begin to create aberrated views 
they may be real from the third dimensional realm but the bible says while we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen you can look at the things that are unseen why because the things that are seen are temporal the word temporal means subject to change there are conditions that can allow that thing change there is no end to the trouble that will come to a believer's life who does not construct his thoughts and his understanding to reflect christ any problem listen let me tell you this now please don't feel insulted we have medical people here and i learned that the way what we call hiv are we together the virus the deadly virus i and i was told one time by a doctor he was telling me how it works he told me hiv itself is not a sickness are we together hiv is a state is a medical condition a biological condition that is aimed at weakening are we together now the strength the support system so it kills the support system of the body down not just the white blood cells it it shuts down everything that has the fortitude of creating strength and defense in the body so that any sickness even if it's malaria can kill you this is how a mindset is a mindset works like hiv a mindset is a universal invitation for any trouble to be to part that means it is a ready participant any tragedy you are welcome the thing that i feared most have come upon me job said please listen so satan uses fear number one satan uses the negative testimonies of others who are like you you are in a situation with another person and he says you see how my life is how is your own experience and while you are standing in faith you look at him and you say we are the same we are age mates the same region and so i should not act stupid and you begin to dance to the music of the flesh the moment you allow your thinking to go outside the boundary the provisions allocated by the word of god just know that you are already in partnership it's another kind of koinonia too the moment your mind is thinking wrong you just started a service but that service now is not under the influence of the holy spirit it's a partnership with any kind of tragedy that will eventually find finally brethren in addition to all that i have told you in addition to the systems that guarantee victory in the kingdom they are all nonsense if you ignore this whatsoever things are true and now you see i've taught you this again and again we live in a society that is negative by default are we together you annoy people when you are happy you annoy people when you are joyful you sing a song of praise and everybody is frowning and say are you the only person in this world see so we are trained to be negative the moment you are negative you become sympathetic to humans apostle you are talking like this because you've not lost any loved one apostle in the last one month my life has gone haywire finance went down and everything went down the bible says rejoice in the lord always and again it is not an encouragement it's a warning it's a precaution no matter what happens guard certain things including your joy because joy is responsible for strength joy is responsible for harvest two things you need in your life when you lose harvest you lose strength and you lose the fortitude for harvest you are finished so we continue to embrace a negative disposition and let me tell you this every time you search for trouble and a reason to be angry in your life you will find it at whatever level even if you don't find it the devil will help you to sympathize for other people that have no business with you it is true that you can cry it is true that you can be in pain it's true that your humanity can relate to something that brings you pain but it's a choice you are going to have to choose that i guard the boundaries of my mind please never forget this teaching
that's why there are people no matter what kind of deliverance happens to them the devil is more than glad to leave them because he knows he will be back shortly it's like you take a little break in transmission mass communicators when they talk they say okay we now go on a little transmission that's what deliverance is for many people because the devil knows that inevitably there is a, a belief system that has become almost an eternal support system for him are we together it is the reason why there are dimensions of deliverance that are preached not conducted to preach deliverance to the captives do something to their belief systems so i've said that every challenge in life has a mindset or requires a mindset support system a thinking system that supports both the arrival of that problem and the continuity of that problem complaining a mindset murmuring a mindset being did you know there are people for instance come my dear watch this there are people that can stand god can do 30 things wonderful things and then just one challenge a headache trouble some challenge in the job place and they will act as if god never blessed them in this life let me tell you that kind of thinking you will gain a lot of acceptance but you will suffer indefinitely the choice is yours it's amazing how sometimes we complain as though god has never shown us his faithfulness we complain as if god has never given you a dream we complain as if god has never granted you favor we never we trivialize the salvation that we have we trivialize the good friends he's given us we trivialize access to truth even though you have not received the truth you have access to it already philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ jesus you must intentionally acknowledge every good thing apostle i have big head what about other part of your body have you celebrated god's faithfulness for it you, you see how negative we are apostle every month malaria typhoid they, we, won't, it, won't it kill me you see that's partnership and when you continue saying it you will invite a spirit that has no business coming to your domain remember the, the, i've taught you this the law of consistency the spirit will say someone is calling me and he will come and say what's going on here and your complaint continues to allow it tabernacle with you i will never say anything negative about myself let critics say it not you are we together mm. someone once told me i said apostle you love yourself i said what's the meaning of that <laughs> of course i love myself why will i want somebody to love what i hate are we together you hate yourself and you want someone to love you That's why all this fantasy of hanging yourself writing a letter write no letter to nobody <laughs> oh i'm tired of this life and things are you know and you just hang yourself it's a foolish way of dying it's better to serve god and be tired or do some or serve society hang yourself and, and waste bodies are we together yes this is an admonishment we are going to pray this night is a very serious night so many of us continue to partner with demons remember i taught you what um apostle paul said he said the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith are we together and that they will give heed to seducing spirits not just demonic spirits seduction spirits and i've taught you that the character of seduction is that seduction cannot work until it finds something that you are vulnerable to if you are not hungry the seduction towards gluttony cannot work if you don't like women 
the seduction towards women cannot work if you don't like power the sedu so seduction studies you it studies your goals it studies your visions it studies your desires it studies your aspiration and it builds an attack based on that information that's how seduction works or if it does not find anything it studies what god is doing and creates a system there when seduction knows that isaac is coming to put hagar close by so that you now bring ishmael who will fight with isaac and punish the nations seducing spirits and the doctrines of demons are we together yes you must make up your mind that this life of refusing this life of seeing negative things let me tell you this world is whatever you say it is there are people right now their viewpoint of the world is a place of bomb blast boko haram wickedness selfishness and they are right and it will become because whatever adam called it that was the name thereof are we together yes you call yourself things god did not call and there are people this world no matter how negative it is they choose to see what god is doing they choose to see the god that lifts they choose to see a destiny that is bright they choose to see a life that insists until god is glorified it will always be unto you according to your faith hallelujah most bitterness that happens in our world as a result of people who feel miserable about themselves and they are not satisfied being miserable alone they will continue to make sure that others join them in feeling miserable with all that is happening in the world god is still on his throne and there is joy unspeakable in heaven full of glory jesus only wept on earth he would not cry again there is no reason for him to cry again Are we together so you must make up your mind we are going to pray shortly people will be healed be delivered god is going to be lifting people but let me tell you these experiences will never last in fact for some it will never happen until you trust god today and say this negative sadist devilish antichrist kind of partnership that i continue to provide with challenges in my life there are people who look wrinkled you almost think they are 50 until they tell you i'm just 27 you say it's a lie are you sick no but i said the way the world is who is fine don't talk like that please take seriously what i tell you your victory is not only tied to christ alone it's tied to your understanding your mind is very creative but it's also obedient in my world i see victory i really do i really do in my world i see the life and the power of god in my world i see christ glorified in my world i see lives being changed in my world i see the the powers of darkness continually dislodged in my life i see longevity listen very carefully in my life i see prosperity in my life i see an opportunity to serve the purposes of god with my life forever in my life i see continuous triumph i have taken out time by the word of god and by the spirit to make that understanding become a stronghold in my mind are we together in my mind i see power and anointing someone someone once asked me and say apostle is it that god tells you he's going to move in a meeting what gives you confidence and i said god me and history <laughs> history history is the basis for mastery i don't try to have faith in god when he will move we've left that level i know i trust him it's a realm of koinonia oneness certainty certainty let me show you something Luke chapter 1. Please give it to us. Luke chapter 1. We'll read the first three or four verses. Look up, please. For as much as many have taken in hand to set in order the declaration of those things which are mostly secured, believe, are most surely believed among us. Verse 2. 
even as they delivered them unto us which from the beginning were eyewitnesses listen and ministers of the word verse 3 it seemed good having had what perfect understanding of all things from the very first to write unto thee in order most excellent theophilus what is the purpose verse 4 that thou mightest know the certainty of those things wherein thou hast been instructed they are not cunningly vice fables the goal of writing this to you is that i was an eyewitness to these things and i want to write to you so that i solidify and clean up any gray areas that might make you doubt the certainty of what you have received this is dr luke writing to theophilus and telling him what is going on that means so that when you stand to declare a thing you are not hoping in the secret you are right the certainty of these things when you say god lifts and god can change lives as a preacher you are you are a funny preacher if you don't believe it how then does the power flow power does not just flow through your hands it flows through your understanding It's very important you, you know this. Are you getting what I'm saying? The certainty of those things. So you must walk on your mind. Philippians chapter 2, same Philippians. Notice that Paul, Paul seemed to drum it in this church in Philippi, this issue of mindset. Chapter 2 and verse 5, he now encourages the saints. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. He's teaching here that for you to establish victory in your life you must allow the mind to be in you there was an understanding that jesus had there was a belief system that jesus had any trouble is frustrated when your mind does not partner with it every victory that comes from christ is also frustrated when you do not have a mindset requirement poverty depends on a mindset to stay infirmity depends on a mindset to stay causes and yokes and all kinds of things depend on a mindset to stay i think it was a preacher one time i don't know where i heard this um but there was a preacher one time who um spoke about is it the 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 elephant that is used in a circus how that they would chain the elephant or something like that and then it was used to a rope being tied and it was limited and that because of the it, it was already used to it one time they even removed the rope and the elephant would not go past that because it, the rope has been tied in his mind the worst way to bind people is to bind them in their minds when i bind you in your mind i can lose your hands you are in a bigger prison are we together so you must learn to stand in faith with god and believe with him some of you may have never received properly the miracle service because you are hoping that you will come and watch others get blessed would you leave such a distance to just come and clap for others there is a level of insistence the woman with the issue of blood said if i may but touch the hem of his garment she kept rehearsing before the arrival of jesus blind but you said all of you have eyes i have an eye too but i can't see and if jesus is passing around let me just hear the sound of jesus and i will cry thou son of david have mercy on me there is a level of insistence that will force darkness to go are we together tonight so i want you to believe listen let me tell you this it is powerful when the power of god flows in and to and through a mindset that has been so constructed you will see the potentials of the life of god we have many destructive belief systems that continue to short circuit the power of god you can pray for a lady like this for instance in the name of jesus may god give you a great life partner but she already has a destructive mindset that will never even allow the life partner see her her mindset has become darkness a depraved selfish unspiritual mind full of low esteem 
which god's son will see that kind of that kind of um, scenario and be glad to come and marry and there are men with self-centered self-destructive attitudes so listen you have a responsibility and this is the part of the gospel that i think we must balance in church the gospel that continues to say god is exclusively responsible he is responsible for betting the victory but you are responsible for partnering for the transfer and the manifestation to happen in your life it is true and when there was no more vessel the oil stopped the vessel in this case can be your mindset the vessel in this case can be your understanding is god speaking to us tonight someone can be here and you can make up your mind and say lord from january till october i thank you but i've not seen the prophetic word you've given me i'm insisting that this night is not only my night of reception it's my night of recovery and that by next miracle service i'm only coming to testify and clap for others i i name today as the day of my salvation hallelujah yes god is able the bible says it now unto him ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 who is able to do exceeding abundantly far above all we ask or think not ask or sing ask or think and then it says according to the power not lives in him the power allowed to walk in us the power allowed to walk in us god's power is like a dam the one allowed to walk in you is like the the opening of the tap you can open a tap so small that it brings water drop by drop you have short-circuited the potential of the dam the dam is misrepresented by the allowance that the tap gives are we together so god wants to bring us to a point where he will move us into dimensions of grace dimensions of victory now thanks be to god now thanks be to god now thanks be to god what does it take for god to change a family listen let me tell you this look up don't get used to pain and don't get used to failure continue to insist until your life reflects christ this is this is where the labor of a believer is in the spirit your insistence until the things that you now see become the things you do not see insistence lord it is not your will for this family to be in poverty begging from hand to mouth anointed but begging anointed but begging anointed but begging every good thing that happens in the family you receive it with fear because you know it will not last and you are right it will not last because it was only received momentarily it was not sustained by a requisite level of mindset that will keep it whatever your mind holds is yours forever truly whatever your mind holds is yours if your mind holds trouble is truly yours if your mind holds victory it is yours are we together so you must insist this night there are all kinds of things god wants to do listen let me tell you this very quickly in a miracle service god does many things a miracle service is not just a healing service a miracle service is a service that allows for the power of god to birth and sustain supernatural solutions everybody says supernatural solutions solutions whose origin and operation is higher than the realm of men it truly is stupid for an individual to sit down and start asking can god change my life in one day can god change my life in two days can god turn my family before november god are we together are you guys done have you fixed it it's not working okay so please let's work on it as fast as we can make up your mind 
that my life must become an expression of the beauty and the glory of God. Make it a project. It doesn't matter where you are now. Make up your mind that my family must become a reflection of the beauty and the glory of God. As at the time you are speaking, you may not have where to live. As at the time you are speaking, there's no food even at home now to eat. Don't worry. Stand in faith. Don't fake anything. There's no need faking anything because there's no need faking what can be real. You've heard me say. There is no point faking anointing. There is no point faking power in ministry. You can stand and say, Lord, as it is right now, my church looks like a place where people just stop to drink water because of how powerless it is. But Lord, let something from heaven come upon my church. And I stand in faith and I believe with you. Everybody you pray for is not healed. Everybody you speak over is not changed, but no problem. You stand and look at your siblings and nobody in that house looks like the future. Everybody looks like the past. Stand in faith. I refuse to give my, the, my mindset as a donation. Everybody in your family is not married. Everybody in your family has no children. Don't partner with the devil. They have all donated their mindsets. Be the last key that will refuse Satan. And say, no way. If God is finding hope in this family, let my mindset be the gateway that allows God to come in. Please hear what I tell you. Not elder sister, no child. This one, no child. You two, you have been married how long? Say two and a half years. Say, all of us are the same. You, have, you are the last card that God is depending upon to become the doorway for his power to come. And now the devil is tricking you through frustration to donate your mindset. If everybody in your family is failing, you can stand and say, Lord, find one doorway that can allow you. Remember, there is no miracle until there is at least five loaves and two fish. You have to give God something. The five loaves will allow other loaves come. Hallelujah. I never think failure. I truly mean it. I'm not just talking. I never think defeat. I believe I'm victorious. I live in the consciousness of the jealousy of God over my life. It's true. I have loved thee with an everlasting love. And I have drawn you with my loving kindness. It's not just scripture to me. It is life. It is God revealing his intent to me. This ministry will never go down. It will continue to be from glory to glory. It's true. No, 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 no. I, I'm being as honest and modest with you as, as possible. Because retrogression has an explanation. You can explain why things deplete. You can explain why things retrogress. And you can explain why things will remain afloat regardless of what happens. Hallelujah. You are here tonight in this place in the presence of god you are here tonight many of you have traveled from several nations some of you have traveled from different places to come please hear me my brothers and my sisters the first miracle that god is doing tonight is calling your attention to the partnership that your thought life would have been creating with the devil we call all kinds of nonsense hakanea laishiria does it look like god if you were god is that how you will walk are we together now you must insist and say no this is not the character of god this is not the best of god god cannot bring 11 children to be scrounging from hand to mouth and the only employed person in that family is earning fifteen thousand. god is not wicked something is wrong the moment you call darkness darkness then light can fight it when it has to do with dealing with issues don't be ashamed don't be afraid to stand on god's side are we together so a miracle service allows the multifaceted dimensions of god's power to find expression some of you are here trusting god to break and crack down yokes of infirmity once and for all but do you believe do you agree with god apostle i'm ss this thing will never change it will be unto you according to your faith apostle i know i'm just here no problem they will lay hands on me but that that persuasion is not yet there 
apostle i believe god will prosper me but in your mind you are looking at that class you are looking at um the fact that your only uncle that had access to bail all of you out died last year and you say it has finished no apostle there have been too much delay in my life by now i should be at this level at this level but restoration is possible let your mind open that door see when you know who god is you don't, there is no fear and regret in your life because the bible says for we know the rest don't know but we who are in the kingdom and are aware of the systems of advantage provided for by god in christ we know that in a believer's life there is nothing that is really a disadvantage it's true if you were employed as a graduate in 2000 by now you most likely with diligence and service minus corruption and wickedness you probably would be a director by now are we together yes and now you've not even gotten a job so if you get a job now most likely you are over age already they will not employ you and so you can sit down and say this thing self i'm dead is finished it's over because you have given god you have told god how to move in your life and not allowed him move how he wants to move god if it's must you move this way and god says i want to do more than you can imagine and he will have to make do with the allowance that your mindset allows him but someone can say lord i'm tired of allowing you to pass through my life only through salary thank you for salary but el shaddai where are you answer my family That is the day you will see what will happen one day and it will look to you like a dream someone will call you and say the lord instructed me to transfer 30 million to this family you say please tell efcc before you talk to me Let, let's just be sure you are genuine and they say god instructed me and i'm obedient then you will now know that the testimony of others are not a lie pain can make you think everyone is lying did god really step in like that did god really anoint you like that hallelujah expect god to step into your family expect god to step into your life expect god to put favor upon you the reason why people succeed in this life the favor of god is true expect it life by default and without the assistance of god is impossible to live it's not hard it's impossible you will never be able to walk in the dignity of kingdom integrity and live life as it should be unassisted by god no so he interjects your life with different systems of advantage like mercy like favor like speed like restoration all these things are divine forces that work together to make your life become what the word of god says should become so a woman here for instance who has been barren say for six seven years now if god gives you one child that's good news but that's progress not restoration because you will still have to wait three years get pregnant again wait three years get pregnant you must add 12 years to have the four children so god gives you triplets in nine months now that one is no longer progress that's restoration he has brought nine years spacing in nine months are we together god calculates your salary like arias and brings it through favor in one transfer god shifts you to a level of anointing that you should have walked in had it been your uncle allowed you to be diligent attending church serving in the house of god there are certain levels in the spirit you would have walked in right now but because he stopped you and clamped you down and things didn't look like they're working many things just went down in your life and because of that watch this because of that you got grounded and could not know god fast and god can lead you to an uncommon mentorship an uncommon anointing in six months you will receive a grace that is 15 years old <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> Jacob collected Esau's birthright. He didn't know that Esau was supposed to suffer seven years. When he collected his birthright, Esau's own plus, his own, he served 14 years. 
it's not about exchanging of women it's destiny playing out their family had delay i hope you know from abraham it was a challenge so both of the sons individually whether they was collecting birthright or not they would have paid their seven years watch this but jacob collected his source. it only played out using women but it still played out that means you can collect someone's speed too you see that it's true sit down please sit down you can come with a load that is supposed to be 10 years according to the normal sequence of occurrence based on the allowance your family gives and you come under the influence of a covenant that forces your life to look like the grace upon that territory it's true find a way of believing what i'm saying i've shown you luke chapter one to tell you the certainty of these things it is not those who like you that bless you alone it's those who are directed for everybody to like you do you know how long it takes to like a man sometimes you just need to hear god and obey fast your life requires speed hallelujah there are times because of what god wants to do in your life when he finds out that four people need to be blessed to reach you whether they are praying or not he will hurry them quickly because they are delaying you he will hurry them for your sake when you come for a meeting like this be conscious of four things number one be conscious of every prophetic word that comes relating to your issues of concern be conscious of it when these words come don't think they are just empty speakings the carnal man cannot discern the things of god the word of god is like a tray you have to receive the tray before you receive what is on it are we together now the word of god is a tray it carries miracles carries deliverance carries healings so when you receive the word the engrafted word you now take what is in it be conscious of the prophetic word number two be conscious of the covenant covenant is a very deep spiritual word many people just shout covenant around but they don't even know what it means listen a covenant is a system that commits god and causes him to vow to ensure that a person or an institution continues to receive certain predictable outcomes it's a covenant there is the covenant of answered prayer there is the covenant of god's presence there is a covenant of results every man that god truly calls and every ministry that god truly ordains there are underlying spiritual covenants the platform upon which god put his vow and his integrity that has touching this and this i will make happen it's true also be conscious of the graces you see that the graces that are available within that territory you cannot receive a man's covenant you can only partake of it but you can receive graces you are a pastor you come and your church is grounded you only have 50 members during your annual thanksgiving thank god for that but something is wrong god is a god of increase you can come with hearts open to receive the grace how about hardship things not working well how about your spiritual growth you are at the same level for five years the knowledge of scripture zero health of your prayer life zero you are a man of god and nobody is placing a demand on the grace of god that you have it will frustrate you eventually but there are graces every possibility in the kingdom is governed by an operation of grace when that grace comes upon your life your result shows thou anointest my head with oil the result shows through my cup he does not anoint your cup he anoints your head your cup proves what is on your head are we together now so this is very important thank you 
and you have to understand the way this works we're going to pray shortly and i need you to know how this works i want you to receive be conscious of the graces not some of you may not need may not need a miracle like miracle from sickness or whatever but understand that when you come it's like an exchange of graces listen the bible says give us please second corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8 please give it to us quickly second corinthians 9 and verse 8 praise the lord read with me please koinonia ready one to read stop 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 god is able to make all grace let me explain that to you please all of you come stand anywhere you want to stand just stand anywhere scatter yourself around don't come close to me just stand watch this call these guys graces the grace for prosperity the grace for favor the grace for speed the grace for spiritual fire the grace for influence watch this access to the hearts of men this is you this is your destiny and the bible says the way we advance is that we need to be in touch with all graces not some i can have the grace for prosperity and i'm rich but i suffer but i succeed you are rich but no man helps you because you don't have favor you only have prosperity the proof of favor is not money is the loyalty of men if you do not have access to the hearts of men you don't have favor you may have resources so this guy has prosperity so he will labor wake up in the morning sleep late in the night eat the bread of sorrow mix it with hard work and eventually prosper but as far as spiritual fire is concerned the grace that plants in a man the hunger and the passion for the things of god is not in him so that grace is not there he has some but not all and the part the grace dimension he does not have the deficiency of it will show in his life he is getting richer but not as his soul prospers this is the grace he needs when you pray and intercede for this man now god will answer your prayer by channeling him to a ministry or a man of god that has this dimension so that in addition it will be added to him are we together now now listen very carefully please look up everybody so god is one of the things that happens here is that the spirit of god continues to move like a wind and he scans your life which grace do you need in this season that you do not yet have this is one of the biggest miracle that happens in a miracle service most people do not know you sit under this atmosphere and there is an updating it's like a software god finds out that this level you are entering into there are at least 21 graces but as it is there are only four so while the meeting worship is going prayer is going there is an upgrade that grace so here's what the bible says god is able to make hold my hands so you come for koinonia miracle service dry nothing is on your head and nothing is around your life too because what is around you is a is a report card telling what is on you are we together now you obtain the grace that makes for abundance for the sake and the grace for wealth that works in this ministry forces you to love god while you are wealthy if you receive a grace that makes you wealthy and as you are rising in wealth you are leaving god that anointing did not come from this ministry the grace for this ministry has been it has been edited to a covenant to ensure that as men rise their hearts also rise for god not the kind of nonsense money that makes you leave god you don't honor anything that has to do with god again no it is as you prosper even as your soul prospers it's babylon that gives wealth that prospers you and diminishes your soul watch this so you receive this grace and then the holy spirit finds out grace for what favor come watch this praise and worship you got this one during praise and worship you didn't even know why you felt like falling you just thought that ah the song was so nice something had landed on your head are we together now this is speed hold me now my dear watch this this is what is happening in koinonia you are sitting down but you just know that there is a weight that glory something is coming on you you can't tell you are not even falling 
you are not shouting you will look at someone shouting and feel bad and feel like i i wish i'm the person falling whereas the holy ghost is doing very serious things and then access to the hearts of men this is your package for miracle service now you receive this watch this we now share the grace watch this watch this remember you traveled from another nation the uk us kenya wherever and then you just came and at the end of the service satan can even fool you you are from kenya oh i see please sit down madam i see how it's a kenyan uh, god bless you now watch this you can receive this and while you receive it they will share the grace and you will still feel like nothing came on you but you see the exam is not marked in church go out listen please koinonia understand what i teach you and god is able you came for a meeting and you carried this in two days someone who forgot you no listen he does not just remember i've taught you this last week a book is open in the realm of the spirit by reason of the grace that you carry watch this in one week a strange grace for illumination you think hold on you think is the spirit of revelation it's not revelation it's speed it's just that speed demands revelation there are graces when you carry they call others too so that they will work well in your life and god is able god is able god is able there are people because of the graces you carry you will sustain the grace to fast for three days for one week remember that was a condition god gave you to allow your spirit allow him do certain things but the fortitude to fast that long was not there so the grace comes and while you wait upon the lord 10 years immediately is released within one month listen if all you see is just physical healings and deliverances you are not seeing well the major part of what calls listen one of the major reasons why god sends people from other nations and other places to this place is number one to be able to stand by the grace he has provided for to solve their problems but more than that to expose you to ancient mantles these are graces that were there by covenant listen there is nothing i carry that is as old as me everything i carry is older than me by far we are only stewards the grace predates us it's a relay we are running others ran it and god added on it and gave us to hold it for a generation to know the certainty of the things whereof you have been instructed please hear me if you believe what i share with you tonight you will marvel and you will wonder you can choose tonight to agree with god that every challenge except it does not have a name that in this place this night god will bring it down we are going to have like 10 minutes of serious prayer now listen please during that time of prayer forget about who is by your left and right forget about me just stay with god and pray passionately for the next 10 minutes lord i came for an encounter i came to receive healing i came to receive deliverance but i came to also attach myself to covenants i came by the spirit to receive graces outside inside online lift your voice and pray be restoration please bring them out quickly 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 let's save time please in the bracket restoration now I speak it by the spirit the power of God is still coming on people recover recover 
by the spirit recover i stretch my hands recover by the power of prophecy recover recover years lost recover opportunities a paris recover in the mighty name of jesus i decree and declare god is bringing recovery let me tell you you will marvel and wonder that the things you thought has left you you are about to find it waiting for you in your tomorrow i speak to you may that grace come upon you now again recovery 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 restoration i want to take authority over the spirit of delay i'm seeing many people your feet is chained in the spirit you want to make progress but you cannot make progress fire is falling from heaven now i decree and declare inside outside all the overflows anyone under the sound of my voice who is under the influence of the spirit of delay at the count of three may fire from heaven fall upon those chains one two three i break those chains now be free now from delay be free now be free now be free now i will hasten my word to perform it i will not just perform it i will give speed to my word the word is quick and powerful i declare again any family here any individual under the yoke of delay i speak to you by the spirit that yoke is broken now that yoke is broken now broken by the spirit hallelujah now i want to pray please listen i have prayed this prayer and for those of you who have missed it in time past may god grant you the grace to receive it now listen truly speaking there is a grace for speed please hear me a man's lifetime cannot allow the fullness of the purposes of god to be birthed some of you gave your life to christ late already in life it's not enough to rebuke delay you must obtain the grace for speed and watch this i'm about to pray for people now and that anointing is coming on people as usual you'll find people running by the spirit but i need to release that anointing father i stand under heaven in this miracle service there are people who have traveled from several nations and several territories at the count of three for you and for your family that dimension of speed where 10 years can be put in one year i declare right now let it come upon you one two three take that grace now take that grace now speed parush kabarakata speed career speed I give speed to your life, speed to ministry. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Speed. Hello, Madonna. Hallelujah. Mommy. Please look at me, ma. Don't be embarrassed. I don't know you, but I'm seeing strong witchcraft over your family. Where are you coming from, madam? Madam, I'm looking at you. I'm seeing River State. Where are you from? States. Huh? States. River State. Yes, sir. The Lord says I should tell you that from this night, things will change in your life. She's your mother. Help that woman, please. I'm looking at the Lord in the spirit. I'm putting my hand inside a river. And I'm bringing something out. And the Lord says it's the destiny of this family. In the name of Jesus. That's the daughter. I command by the spirit. Every planting that is not of the Lord. I overturn and I uproot now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is Naomi? 
I'm hearing a name Naomi. We have to hurry up. I want to pray for the sick. Naomi. Hello, Kim Madonna. Ah, hello. The Naomi I'm talking about is outside. Where are you coming from? Come, stand. Your name is not Naomi. Is your name Naomi? What's your name? Come, stand. Where are you coming from, my dear? From where? I want to pray for you. Your name is Naomi. Come and stand. We have to hurry up. Hold on. I cancel CS. I, Madam, look at me. I stretch my hands now. I cancel CS by the Spirit of the Living God. And I decree and declare, like the Hebrew women, you will give birth. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm saying it again. I correct what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus. This is what doctors say a baby is breached. In the name of Jesus, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I correct it now. May you give birth normally like the Hebrew women. In Jesus' name. Let me pray. Are you married? You are backing a baby. Where is the baby? I'm looking at you in a vision. That's why I'm saying, oh, how can this? You know, I'm saying you came to Koinonia. You are backing a baby outside. This is the vision. I'm... You are not getting what I'm saying. Is this? You were backing this baby when I mentioned your case. Huh? Were you backing a baby? That's why I'm saying, are you married? Because you look too small to be a married woman. This is the real person I want to pray for. Bring this little baby. God is, I don't know whose child is this. Your child. But God, this lady you see is going to be a mighty vessel in the hand of God. She looks like a little girl. In the name of Jesus. What's her name? Nicole. Nicole. She may not know what we are doing, but we stand in the presence of the people of God. We anoint this lady. May she become a Deborah to her generation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My dear, let me pray for you. Where are you from? Kogi State. I want to pray for you. Ah. Immediately she mentioned Kogi State. I saw what I used to see now. Now I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. And I'm seeing the power of God going to Kogi State. Kogi State. I'm praying now. It's a sign and wonder. Every time I see that, if you are from that locality, the power of God comes on you immediately. In the name of Jesus, I command witchcraft associated with that territory. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Hallelujah. Who is Magdalene? Magdalene, my dear, come. In the name of Jesus Christ, I anoint you. There is grace. You look young. But you are going to be a mother to men. This is what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord anoint you and make it so. My dear, I rebuke the hand of witchcraft now. Release her. I'm seeing chains on you. I declare by the Spirit, release this lady now. I'm about to minister deliverance shortly. Release her now. In the name of Jesus. Please bring someone in overflow too now. A lady. The power of God is coming upon that lady. Now, as I speak, overflow to mighty fire of God is coming. Please bring her quickly. We have to save time. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Come, my dear. The grace that will want to make married men disturb you. Look at me. I come against that spirit now. Not only you. There are five other people I'm seeing. I don't know where they are. 
but in Jesus name there is a like like it like an almost like an evil anointing that makes only married people to look for you in the name of Jesus by the God of heaven I lift that negative thing off your life now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus I hear the name Magdalene I don't know if Magdalene I want to pray very quickly we have to pray for the sick you are the covenant keeping you can Jesus. I decree and declare by the spirit of the living God I'm seeing your feet in mud in the name of Jesus I lift you out of this tragedy by the power of the Holy Spirit and I speak to this lady I'm seeing this lady but all I'm seeing is snakes completely I declare be free now by the spirit of the living God the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty be free right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost let me pray for you my dear grace for you the favor that is on your life I command it to start speaking it will not only be a name that is on you it will speak right now in Jesus name your sister your name is Magdalene come in the name of Jesus Christ may the Lord bless you Look at me. The Lord is taking away shame and reproach from your life. These two things. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Please stand up. I speak to you by the God of heaven. The month of November, a big miracle is coming to your life. A big miracle. I lay my hands upon you and I declare in the name of Jesus, be free right now. Why is this girl here? This Magdalene? come my dear I pray for you place your hand on your head I declare oh God let this chain be taken now I'm seeing a chain on this girl's head be removed now be removed this like the devil wanting to just bring this lady under captivity I remove it right now in the name of Jesus Christ somebody lay your hands on her so anybody just touch her release her now by the spirit of God there's no place for you take everything that belongs to her restore it and go now now please listen I want to minister deliverance please believe it you may not know the woman from Kenya come it's time for God to change your life please stand up when did you come here uh, yesterday yesterday yes. you came here God is about to turn your life around Amen. Glory. you are still coming and you are coming with four people the next time you are coming Amen. Thank you, Jesus. madam what do you do what do you do? I'm a commissioner for human rights. Commissioner for human rights yes. in Nairobi. Yes. In, in two weeks, I'm going to be in your nation. I would like to see you in your nation. There is a reason why I'm talking. I'm not seeing you alone. I'm seeing four other people yes. that the Lord wants me to pray for. Yes. But I want to pray for you, madam. Because I don't know if you believe it or not. You have a political destiny as you are like this looking at me you have a political destiny in kenya and god by his spirit is going to make this happen but another thing is there is also the call of god upon your life you are a woman that love god there is is starting like an intercessory grace and a prophetic grace but you will get to a point where among the graces god will give you is the grace to pray for barren women notice this grace 
God is going to bring this grace upon you. God, I'm also seeing you build a charity foundation. There is going to be a mighty humanitarian foundation that I see you build. I'm seeing food stuff and I'm seeing different things. First, it will have to do with young girls, people who have been abused and so on. But I see not only that, I see women too. Women, God is going to increase your influence. I lay my hands upon you and I declare by the Spirit, carry this grace. Go to Kenya with it, go and excel. I command the two lift gates of Nairobi and the entire Kenya to be open for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, go with this anointing, go and prosper. May the Lord multiply your political career and may the Lord prepare you for the mighty ministerial assignment he has for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. An angel of the Lord is standing here. Someone will shout here under a strong anointing. I just saw that grace. I don't know. First, I think until the shout happens, I know why God, just from here right to the back, there is an anointing. I just saw a, a very mighty manifestation of the power of God here. Now, listen. Whether you know it or not, if there is anything influencing your, your destiny that is not of the Christ, it's about to give way right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. At the count of three, hear me. Whether you are inside, outside, or following online, I want you to shout that name Jesus with understanding. It's not just a chant. My Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower, not a weak tower. The righteous run it to it and they are saved. I want to pray for you. I know you've shouted in other months, but great deliverance, great deliverance is about to come your way. Father, I pray that every spirit in this place that does not name the name of the Christ, that is sitting on the destinies, of men and women manipulating their results i stand and call upon the god of jeshurun the one that rides upon the wings and i declare let there be deliverance at the count of three shout that name jesus one two three be free now be free now be free now please bring them out be free now. Overflow one. Overflow two. Overflow three. All the extension online. I declare be free now from ancestry. Be free from foundation. Be free from witchcraft. Bring them out. Paru Salikata. barata. Operations of darkness. I'm seeing a womb. Like the drawing of a woman's womb. And I'm seeing it close. It doesn't just mean physical barrenness. It means a spirit that is closing the door of results. Many people cannot get results. But right now that door is about to open. And I stand by the God of heaven. By the fire of the Holy Ghost everyone's destiny that has been closed so that it will not find manifestation at the count of three let it be open one two three be open now 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 Faithful God, I 
finances. Listen to me. Please, I want you to believe it. There is a grace for finances and it's coming on many people. I'm not asking you what you are doing. I'm not asking you what you know. I'm telling you what God is doing. I stand by the God of heaven and I declare Father, the men and women that must enter into this dimension as you are showing me at the count of three, may that grace rest upon you. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. A strength grace for abundance. Receive supply from heaven. Supply by the Spirit. Parush Kalipa. Let things work in a way that will surprise you. I command things to work in a way that will marvel you. Haru <laughs> Salikatash mighty God a few minutes we are going to pray for the sick now now please listen I'm only going to do this for this overflow and overflow one that's not to mean I'm neglecting the remaining it's just a revelation that God is giving me there are two angels standing by my left and my right and every time I see this God wants me to move listen Hear me, except God is not God. When I pass any road where you are, anything that does not name the name of the Christ and any dimension that is not of God in your life, it must give way. Now, I only do this for this and overflow one. Afterwards, we are going to pray for the sick. Please, I want you to just believe. I don't know why God does these things, but I want you to believe that he is mighty and that he will glorify himself father in the name of jesus christ glorify yourself change everything that needs to be changed many of you will be receiving impartations that will shift you to dimensions i want you to believe it i will pray not everywhere but there are a few people 
I'm seeing this happen by the Spirit. Hali Shalatos, Pragados, Krekete Barakushla. I shift you in the Spirit. Every limitation that does not name the name of Christ. I'm praying mantles, anointings by the Spirit coming on people right now. Let that presence of God shift you to dimension in the name of Jesus. Dimension. I'm seeing a chain around here. I break that chain now. I'm seeing a chain around here. Let that chain be broken now. Let that chain be broken now. Let that chain be broken now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Chains be broken now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, God is turning your life around. Where are you coming from? Kaduna State. In the name of Jesus. Break now. In the name of Jesus. Be free now. From everything that is not of God. Be free now. Something is breaking here. Something is breaking here. Something is breaking here. Parush I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. By the spirit of the living God. I break it now. Mama, I break it now. I break it now. Somebody, I'm sensing an evil spirit just around here. I come against you now. I take authority over that influence. You must go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Overflow one, lift your voice and pray in the spirit. Harusa Sigadesh. Now listen, please be your brother's keeper. You don't have to touch me. Please be your brother's keeper so you don't enjoy yourself. But as I pass here, anything that is not of God is about to give way right now. Thank you, Jesus. Go now. Let it go now. Let it go now. Let it go now. All times, I come against you now. In Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. I'm seeing what looks like an altar right here. Release them now in the name of Jesus. Harusa Sikete. Be free now. Right here is breaking, breaking over someone's family. Be broken now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be broken now. Be broken now. Beauty and glory to your life in the name of Jesus. Now watch this. Listen, hold on, please. Hold on, please. I'm standing here and I'm seeing. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca, they call you Becky. Rebecca, just not inside. Here you are. What's your name? Rebecca. Don't worry, it's okay. What's your name? Don't just come out if, in the name of Jesus Christ, come. I end oppression now over your life and your family. Oh, you, my dear, your name is Rebecca. Where are you from? You are from, are you from Makodi? Benway State, in the name of Jesus. I keep seeing this spirit every time I pray for people. That thing they call Aleku, A-L something K-U. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit by the God of heaven. If there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of that spirit, you are from that region, I stand by the God of heaven. Let it come to an end now. Help them please. Let it come to an end now. In the name of Jesus, hold on please. Right here, 
there is a gentle man who will be mightily used by God. I just saw a strong mantle from my head resting on someone. I stretched my hands. Lord, I don't know where they are. Paruska Badu Sheleketa. Let that grace come on you now. Strange mantle, prayer fire, word fire, illumination in the spirit. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. I'm standing here and I'm seeing a family with a yoke of marital delay. I'm seeing something that looks like an arrow just coming from heaven. Right now, let deliverance come now. Let it come now. I'm still moving. The hand of God is coming on people right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Please, you don't have to touch me. In the name of Jesus, right here, financial stagnation comes to an end. An anointing is coming on someone for your family. Financial stagnation. Let it be over now. My dear, be free now. Out! Now! Someone here, the power of God is coming on that person. Be free now! Free from everything that is not of God. New dimension, new dimensions. I'm seeing an anointing here. New dimension. The old story must leave you. That's what God is saying. I'm prophesying to someone here. The old story must leave you. The old is gone so that the new will come. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where is the woman? Wait, hold on, please. I held someone's hand now. Holding a photo of a sick patient. Where is he? Come. Who is this? Where is he? He's in China. What's wrong with him? He's depressed now. If I don't pray for him, I'm seeing him inside a coffin. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, let there be deliverance for him now. What's his name? Ibrahim. This is not only something affecting him. This is something that is influencing the entire family. But I stand by the God of heaven and I set you free. In the name of Jesus, be completely free. And I speak to him, Ibrahim, may the power of God touch you and perfect you now and perfect you forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for the sick. My friend, this man looking at me, come. Where are you coming from? Huh? You are from Kogi State. What do you do? Are you a man of God? You came here trusting God for fresh fire. Come. You are about to receive it because I'm seeing you from Kogi State. You, where is your church? Look at me, sir. Where You have a church? You are under a church. Hmm. A time will come, God will give you your own work. Now God is preparing you. Be faithful. You will go, but now is not the time. You live now, you will suffer for nothing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't let sincere people come and push you out of the will of God. But surely a time is coming and you will walk in very strange dimensions of the anointing. Father, I lay my hands upon this man. Let his dealings with the spirit progress. In the name of Jesus. Not only an impartation, a dealing that produces real power in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. This lady with green, this lady, you, come. The Lord is about to turn your life around in a way that will surprise you. Two things will happen to you. Number one, I'm seeing restoration. God is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing restoration. Number two, I'm seeing the gift of men. Please do listen to my message. Help them on the gift of men. God is bringing people strangely to lift you. I lay my hands upon you and I pray, may this grace be effectual. Carry that grace right now. And you will start having visions. Visions. God is going to start giving you dreams and he will start giving you visions. In the name of Jesus. This is very strange what I'm seeing. 
except that I saw it, I will not say it. Stop running away from the call. You are a man of God's wife. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm saying what does not make sense. Stop running from the call. You are the wife of a man of God, a minister of the gospel. The Lord will bring performance to his word. This thing I tell you is a strange mystery, the way God works. But in the name of Jesus, I place the word of God upon that prophecy. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.